Hey, what's going on guys? Aldesha here. And today I want to talk about a trip I recently made to Dollar Tree. And I got to Dollar Tree and I hit the, the uh, toy section. And I was looking for new Final Faction figures. And there was a, quite a few, um, but nothing new that I saw. So I was just kind of scanning the whole the toy aisle. And if you've ever been to Dollar Tree, you know that um, the, the toy section in particular can be a disaster. Um, it's just overstocked half the time or the kids get to it. And there's everything everywhere. So I'm kind of scanning it around. These are an old pickup. I was just showing those as, as an example. But I was just looking around and I looked on the bottom where um, a lot of stuff falls and everything like that. And I see this, a G.I. Joe construction set. It's a vehicle, the Cobra Ferret. So I automatically grabbed it. I didn't really pay attention to the price at the moment. I just wanted to grab this because I looked around and I didn't see a display for it. I didn't see any more of these G.I. Joe construction sets. And if you look on the back, it says collect them all. And I was optimistic that the other ones would have been available, but I I uh, searched it real quick and I found a four pack or a three pack at on uh, Walmart's website. And the um, the Rattler and a couple other vehicles are a higher price point, so I doubt they were available at Dollar Tree. But I definitely grabbed the G.I. Joe Cobra Ferret construction set. It's a little miniature figure and it, it's pretty awesome for five bucks. Like I said, I didn't realize the price at the time. I just grabbed it. I didn't realize that until I got home. But for five dollars for um, if if you go brand name and you get a Lego construction set like this or a miniature vehicle, it's going to be around twenty dollars or more. So if you're um, not particular about brand names and things like that, this was a definite cool thing to find and on the side it shows the vehicle in a photo and the minifig that you get with it right there sorry it's a little out of focus and it's definitely 45 pieces right there and i put it together ahead of time and this is the back of the package right here like i said i didn't see anything else and i doubt these are available at dollar tree I, these are a higher price point as far as i can tell and um so you get a a photo of the mini minifig and the vehicle so I put that together ahead of time and um, this is what I came up with these guys are just not cooperating right now so I put them together and this is what I came up with and it's pretty cool it's it's pretty small in the um, but it does have rubber tires which is cool and it does roll and the minifig can fit into the seat right here. Sorry, this is like one of the jankiest parts of the whole thing. The um, the gun kind of falls off, but you can attach the minifig to the seat right there, which is pretty cool. It does come with these little pieces that go on the seat, which won't allow the figure to sit there securely. So if you take these off and you put the minifig on there, He'll sit securely. He doesn't really hold the handlebars or the controls per se, but he is secure in there. You can pick him up. And uh, it does come with some decals right here, right there. It's kind of hard to see, but it's definitely a, a Cobra vehicle. And it says um, rescue cover right there secure cover right there but i thought it was pretty cool the uh, minifig does come pre-stamped with all the um, logos and stuff on it so you don't have to put any stickers on him but it's pretty cool and it was all fairly easy to um, put together it does come with an instruction sheet that's all just images and there's a lot of tiny pieces in there like i said there's 45 pieces so what i did is i put a, a couple of paper towels on my desk here and poured the uh, parts out slowly so they wouldn't bounce everywhere and I'd be chasing big pieces on the floor. So if you just follow the instructions, they're really easy to um, assemble and you end up with your final vehicle right there. And it does come with a sticker sheet. And like I said, I've already taken off the uh, stickers, but the sticker sheet is like this. All the stickers have been removed, but it does come with a GI Joe logo on the top right here. But the whole thing is um, a sticker. The whole thing is a sticker. And what I did, just as a little bonus, I grabbed 
the exacto knife and a ruler and I cut it along the edge here so I have a free GI Joe sticker to put somewhere if I so choose and I thought that was pretty cool it's not part of the package or the package deal rather but I thought it was pretty cool and it is a, a sticker I'm gonna stick probably somewhere it's awesome um, the figure came with exactly enough parts except for one extra hand for the minifigure right there but I'm not complaining in case one gets lost um, the, it's probably like the smallest piece of the um, the set so I kept the extra hand and it's pretty cool man it, it's got rubber wheels and they're flexible so it does roll around and if you secure it fairly well and if you actually want to take the extra step and glue these pieces together you've got a pretty durable um, vehicle that you can play with and like I said the figure sits on there fairly securely like I said some of these pieces are barely on there but it is a five dollar figure or a five dollar uh, toy Arr, see it's fighting me right there but yeah I thought that was pretty cool I didn't know these were at Dollar Tree um, like I said I might be late to the show and um, have missed the uh, the run and this was just one of the stragglers that hadn't sold yet but I'll take it any day. I thought that was very cool. So yeah, that's my uh, G.I. Joe Dollar Tree find right there. The G.I. Joe Cobra Ferret construction set. Vehicle and minifig included. So yeah, ah, and it just falls apart from there. So <laughs> thanks for hanging out and thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later.